okay and that's how you work with your drag and drop using the actions class the next thing is that we need to understand what is a random class the random class is basically an inbuilt class of the java language which is basically used to generate random numbers which can be in integer format or in float format or in double format etc so it basically generates a stream of pseudo random numbers that is to generate random numbers these are certain methods of the random class the next boolean method we return and next to do random uniformly distributed boolean value from this random number generator sequence next bytes will generate random bytes and place them in a user supplied byte array next double method will return the next pseudo random uniformly distributed double value numbers between 0.0, .0 and 1.0 from this random general generator sequences similarly next float will generate a pseudo random uniformly distributed float value between 0.0, .0 and 1.0 from this random numbers generator sequences then we have something known as next int method returns the next pseudo random uniformly distributed integer value from this random number generators sequence if you see there is a overloading method of next int which passes in parameter called int returns a pseudo random uniformly distributed integer value between 0 inclusive and the specified value exclusive out here so we are going to use the random class and check out practically what is the, how does the random class work and then we will see how to use the random class to randomly choose a link from a particular area <clears throat> so let's go ahead in our script and then we'll practically see how to click on a link randomly using the random class so first we will see how to use the random class for that i'm going to create a new package called as the random package and in this particular thing the first thing that i'm going to create is a class file called using random class call the main method and i will close all the other classes which are not required i'll close the unwanted browsers so first first let us create a object of the random class random is an inbuilt class of the java language which is a <clears throat> class used to generate random numbers which can be an integer double boolean float format etc so you can create an object of the random class random r is equal to new random You can import the random class from the utility package you can see that and we can now generate numbers for example i can directly use the sysout statement and generate randoms in integer format random numbers in integer format so for that we have to use the r dot we have to use the next integer if you look at next integer method it returns a next pseudo random uniformly distributed integer value from this random number generated the general contract of next integer is that one integer value is pseudo randomly generated and returned all 2 to the power 232 possible integer values are produced with approximately equal probability that means it will generate random numbers to the maximum value of 2 to the power 32 if i use this particular method so let's save the class file and run it so it generates this particular value again if i run the class file random number will be generated again if i run the class file this number will be generated so these are nothing but random numbers generated in a random fashion and the random numbers that will be generated in the random version will be from the lowest level up to the maximum level which is to the power 32 if I again run the class file, this is what it is showing me. It generates a random number, you can see that. Now, <coughs> there is another method called the r.next 
integer method but here I will use the parameter which is the integer parameter so let's say I want to generate a number between 0 and 9 so the limit that I need to give is 10 so if I give the limit as 10 as a parameter for your next integer method this will generate a random number between 0 inclusive of 0 exclusive of 10 that means it is going to generate a random number between 0 and 9 so if you save this class file and run it and let's comment this particular line you will see that a random number will be generated between 0 and 9 right now it is 5 now 4 again 4 6 6 again 2 3 6 5 so it generates a random number but from 0 including of 0 until 9 exclusive of 10 so if I give let's say 100 this is going to generate a random number between 0 and 99 exclusive of 100 so let's run the class file you see random numbers are generated right now it is 13 now 38 again run it 67 again run it 58 so this random class can be used to actually work with let's say any web element uh, the web element that I'm going to work with is links so I can click on a random link present in an area so that is the practicality that I'm going to show show you with using the random class in which I'm going to click on a random link present in a particular area so clicking on the links randomly using the random class so let's go out here and I'm going to create a new class file random usage as the name of the class file call out the main method and uh, I'm going to use the same firebug as and the firepath for getting the xpath and going to use the firefox browser in order to perform this particular practicalities or perform or create scripts which will work on the firefox browser rather so this script is common so i'll copy it and put it out here now i'm going to basically do this this particular stuff when i use the random class I'm going to open up this particular website americangolf.co.uk let's close the fire path and fire bug so I'm going to navigate to americangolf.co.uk and uh, using the actions class I'm going to actually move my mouse over the golf links and check up the number of links present out here in this area okay and <clears throat> then use the random class to work and click on a particular link randomly okay so I'm going to navigate to American golf dot co dot uk for that i need to use driver dot get method and this is the url copy it and paste it out here after that you need to use the fire path in order to get the x path of golf clubs So navigating to sorry mouse simulation to golf clubs menu button. So what I need to do is that I need to use the driver dot find element 
by the x path expression the x path expression for golf clubs is this the return top of the find element is a web element the reference variable is called as w1 we got to import the web element from the selenium package and then use the action class so actions class will be used to simulate the mouse movement towards the golf clubs menu button new actions and we got to import the actions class and pass on the driver instance out here after that use the act dot move to element element is referenced by the reference variable w1 dot built dot perform i don't need to click on that just hover my mouse and that will be the action performed and after that get the number of links in the in the all golfers sub sub menu button number of links in the all golfers sub sub menu button number of links in the sub menu button that is your all golfers So what we need to do is that go out here. We need to check that is the number of links is coming. How many links are present? So is the number of links being highlighted or not? I do not know. This is highlighting the number of links in the all golfers sub menu button. So what I need to do driver dot find elements find element by the X path of that particular area. And the return type of this is a web element. So this is a web element of all golfers area. Okay, from this all golfers area, find elements by the tag name by the tag name a so in that area how many links are present links are defined in HTML scripting by the anchor tag a and the dot size method is going to give me the number of links in that area in that all golfers area okay the return type of all size method of the size method is an integer so num number of links in the all golfers area And if I do a sys out, the number of links in that area will be found out. So this will tell me the number of total number of links in the area. So I can write down. So 
something like total links in the all golfers area is concatenate this with this okay so this is going to show me the number of links in that area So let's find out the number of links the number of links are 11 let's see if the number of links are 11 or not one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven these are not links number of links in this area is 11 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so there are 11 links and that is what is shown out here now i want to randomly click on a particular link to randomly click on a particular links that means out of the level 11 links it can randomly choose to click on a particular link so i have to use the random class random r is equal to new random import the random class from the utility package and <clears throat> after using the random class what I need to do is that I need to use this tag name out here so all golfers area is nothing but that area given by this particular x bar the by tag name it will show you the number of links in that particular area defined by this particular variable which i'm highlighting right now the return type of this find elements is a list of web elements so control c we'll call this as list the reference variable of the list interface import the list from the utility package and now I can basically use list dot get the index number starts with zero so instead of using the index number out here okay because i'm not using the for loop so i can just pull out r which is the reference variable of the in, of the random class object r dot next integer and what is the number of links given by num links so i can just pull out this copy this num links and put it out here dot click And how do I know it has clicked? Because I can get the title of the page. So I can use driver dot get the title of the page after it clicks randomly and put it to a return type which is a string. So do this much and then I can sys out. the title of the page which it has clicked lambda so it will actually open up the page respect to the link that is click, it is clicking randomly and then I'll get the title of the page so let's close this and check out Just clicked on single irons.
I should get the title of the page as single irons golf club. This is the title that I should get right now. The total links are still 11 and golf clubs and golf equipments online American golf. What is the title of this page? Let us check it out. So let us go to view page source and go to the title of the page. Control F and just write down title single iron single golfs American golf this is the title of the page so what I need to do is that I need to go out here and write down not get the title of the page like this because this will give me the title in the wrong fashion so what I need to do is that I need to use list dot get the random number not next 11 num links dot get okay let us see close this and uh, let us see that dot pick method dot click dot if I can use dot get the text I cannot use the get title let's say anyways so it will click so let's say where it is clicking right now which particular random link it is clicking so save the class file and run it so randomly it is click, click out a link from that particular area single items again okay I'll close it and again run the same class file it is clicked on wedges pages so it is clicking the links randomly using the random class of the java language this is how you use the random class in a selenium web driver script and that's the practicality of clicking on the links randomly using the random class